he custom designed the glitch pop vandal so yeah i can see something like this definitely happen in the future love the idea we saw it before right two weeks ago when the prism 2 are you sure about that What is going on ladies and gents, welcome back for the second episode of custom skins on my channel. As you guys just saw, this video was ready almost over a week ago, but Riot decided to crush my dreams by releasing the Glitch Pop bundle one day after I made this video. So here we are recording this video for a second time now. But don't worry guys, there's still some interesting stuff that we can talk about today, especially for esports fans. There's some juicy stuff that I'm gonna show you guys today. Quick shout out by the way to Flu and Legendary Noodle from the Discord who helped me finding these skins. I always appreciate the help from the people in my Discord, so if you wanna message me about anything skin related or about new skins, feel free to join the Discord and message me or the community in there. You guys are always welcome. And with that being said, let's jump on to the first skins right here. First off, we have some G2 skins from the user called Demox. Huge shout out to him. I'm gonna link everything from him down in the links below. He made custom agent skins for G2 esports and weapon skins. But let's check out the jet skin right here. Let me go back a bit. He made this custom jet skin and I have to say it looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's full of details, right? The G2 logo over on the um, pants. And then it also got the logo on the top left and the, the eye on the top right. So I, I definitely like the small little details. This is the eye that you can find in the G2 logo. And then if we go back a little bit, we can also see right here that it says Mixwell. So um, he literally also has the player names, which would be sick. Like, just imagine a tournament in which G2 is playing, or any esports team in that case, and they just have their skins on with their names on the back. That would be sick as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. So overall, this is just a pretty nice concept. I definitely like this one. He also created a custom agent skin for Omen, which you can see right here. I definitely do like this one as well with the red accents. And then on the back, I don't know if we can go back just a little. Um... Yeah, right there on the back. I don't know if you guys catch that, but the G2 logo on the back and then just the red white theme on the front. I definitely do like this one as well. It is not as polished and clean as the jet one, but this is definitely nice. Here we have the jet one again, but the most interesting thing starts here and this is the G2 weapon skin. He made this one for the ghost and I have to say this one looks clean. Definitely not something over the top. It's it's pretty simple and clean, but that's essentially what I'm looking for in an esports skin, right? They don't need to be all over the top, like the Elder Flame skins, for example, or the Glitch Pop skins or Prime skins or whatever. You know, for esports skins, I feel like just nice and clean looking skins like this Ghost is completely enough. It's completely enough. It, it is a nice representation and it looks sick as fuck the way it is. So definitely do enjoy the eSports Ghost skin as well. But we have some other custom eSports skins as well. Here we do have the Cloud9 Vandal and a Jet Agent skin for Cloud9. I must say both of these look clean as fuck. I love the details on the Vandal. I definitely do like seeing Jet on the back end of the gun and definitely fits the whole theme. And then also the Cloud9 logos on the handle of the gun. This also looks pretty nice. And then we also have the um, Cloud9 Ghost. Again, pretty clean skin, nothing too special, but it just looks nice, right? The design overall is nice. Also with the dragon accents here, right, on the silencer. Overall, just a nice skin. But I have one more important thing that I want to talk about with you guys. And before you guys start spamming the comments, I already know that this is probably not going to happen. Knowing, right, we're never going to get something like this for free. But I think it's still nice to talk about it and just push the ideas because that's all we can do. Maybe we're gonna see something like this, who knows. But what I'm talking about are agent knives. And this was made by the user Scorp. He made custom knives for agents. And first of all, we have the Phoenix Butterfly. Definitely fits Phoenix. Um, I'm gonna be honest here. This is definitely something we're never gonna see. Everybody wants a butterfly knife. So right, ain't gonna give us free butterfly knives for a agent contract. But it is a nice idea. Then, second of all, we do have the Omen knife. Also fits his theme. Would be a nice knife for Omen, I'm not gonna lie. Third knife is the Cypher knife. While this looks nice, I definitely do think the Omen and Phoenix ones are a bit better. And then for the last one, we do have the Sage knife. And this one def definitely reminds me of the um, Stiletto knife from Counter-Strike. I'm gonna blend it in right here so you guys can see what I mean. But yeah, this is honestly, this is a nice idea of just 
having something in the game that you have to unlock rather than paying for it. Because I definitely do enjoy having something to grind for. And I think it makes these skins special, right? I definitely do like the agent skins that I unlock because I know I can just get them through playing and not buying them. And this would also be a nice addition because we're going to get to a point where uh, people going to get maxed out at their agent contracts. And we just have to get something new at like some point. Having something like this would be sick as fuck for like level 20 uh, in the agent contract. But I'm not, not going to lie, that probably not going to happen. Still nice idea, definitely like it. And yeah, that's all we have for this video. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole topic. Do you like the idea of agent skins? Do you like the idea of custom agent knives that you can unlock in your agent contract? Just let me know your general thoughts on the whole topic and feel free to subscribe down below if you want to be part of this community. And with that being said, guys, I catch you on the next one.